Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. In today's video, the weather's not that nice, so we're gonna get all the boards ready to ride at the cable park. To do that, we're gonna need candle wax. So, cut to a time lapse of me going to get that. Okay, so I'm back from the store. My GoPro went flat, so that's why there's not much footage of that. But this is what I got. Just regular candle wax. Um, you can get it anywhere. It's, it's better to get a bigger candle than a small one, but that's all they had. Moving on from that though, let's get the skis out and wax them. Now we're going to get the skis out and start waxing them, so cut to a time lapse. It's worth noting that I'm not waxing the base of my feature boards trick ski because it's brand new and has no scratches. Righto, so that's now done. Don't know if you can really see, oh, you sort of can. So what waxing your board does is makes hitting like rough obstacles, like ones that have cuts and scratches in a bit like my board here uh, makes it easier and smoother it also makes smooth obstacles really fast so basically it's the secret source for hitting obstacles it also adds a protective layer to the bottom of your board or skis so that they don't get super scratched up like mine kind of already is now that my boards are ready for the cable park it's time to put them away There we go, all packed up. You guys don't need to see it being put away, so let's do a spinny thing and I'll see you guys on the other side. There we go. Now that everything's waxed, we're all ready to go to the cable park. 
We just need to wait until the weather, oh, it's really oversaturated, but the weather is terrible today and has been for the past week. So hopefully it gets better soon so we can go to the cable park and get you some live action content. That's it for today's video though. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.